So hello guys, welcome back to my class. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Manuela Zadovnik, but you can call me Miss Zadovnik or Teacher Manu or Ms. Manuela, however you prefer. I am one of your fine arts teachers here at Vico, and together we will be learning about art history while we do fun artistic activities together. That's right guys, so before I go any further, please don't forget to remind your friends and family to download the Vico app available on the Google Play Store and App Store. You can find it with the logo that you see right here in the corner. Let them know about the amazing after school programs that we have here to offer you guys, not only fine arts, but also yoga, ballet, guitar, piano, Spanish, Chinese story time, uh, magic, and so much more. And we also have a social feature. What does that mean? Well, you have the possibility to customize your own profile picture, like post pictures, comment on other people's pictures, give them a like. So. You know, let them know about all of this so we can grow as a community, have a lot of fun here together and learn something new every day. You know, there's, you know, like vast possibilities for you to expand your knowledge in many areas. So take advantage of that. And we, I mean, we have very awesome teachers. So like, take my word on it because it's going to be amazing. Okay. So. All right, guys, so uh, the plan that I had for this week was reviewing week. So we were gonna go over artists that we have already covered before, that it has been a while since we covered them last time. So I thought that, I mean, it's been a while, so it's always good for us to go over their work again. There's always some other piece that we can, you know, like do or, uh, redo inspired and um, in the in their style try to understand the style the method the type of medium that they used so on and so forth and today um, we are going to go into contemporary art which has also this mix of pop art and we're gonna be learning a little bit more about the contemporary pop artist let me show you Romero Brito, there you have him. He looks all smiles. As you can see, he's very much alive, very young to be, you know, an artist with a very renowned career. Uh, so props to him, shout out to him. That's very, very amazing. Um, and for today's activity, we'll be doing once again, our own Neo Pop Cubist artwork inspired in Brito's artwork, okay? In art pieces, okay? So, Quick review, uh, Romero Brito, uh, he is a Brazilian artist born in 1963 and he is currently based in Miami, Florida. So you could find him in, you know, you can find him in Miami. If you're in Miami, you can probably see him. Um, and you can all, I think you can also go to his workshop because he has like a gigantic place uh, where he produces his art uh, in Miami. So um, his artwork has this both influences from cubism and pop art. So we've already covered those two before. So on one hand, uh, cubism has to do with geometrical shapes. Uh, we have told, we have named them before, rectangles, squares, triangles, circles, and they are used as a way of decomposing natural images, you know, like a, a portrait, a landscape, and reduce them into this basic shapes, you could say, you know? For today's activity, we'll be painting our own Romero Brito's artwork, art piece. And so we're gonna be using the source image that you see here, that is True Love by Romero Brito. And so the materials that you will need for today's class, basically whatever you have at hand, you can use it, regular paper or mixed media sketchbook paper, either or is fine. Colored pencils, crayons, markers, soft pastels, oil pastels, acrylic paints or tempera paint, anything works here. Paint brushes if you're using the acrylics or tempera, reusable piece of cloth and container to mix the paint if you're using the acrylics or tempera, and a reusable piece of cloth and container to mix the paint. I already said that. I'm so sorry. And a cup of water to clean the brushes, of course, if you're using the acrylics or tempera. So yeah, that is the image that we have there. I'm gonna be using, let me show you, markers. I have my markers over here. I have other markers, uh, but you know, I thought that because of the patterns and things that I see there, 
I thought it was best to use um, markers, you know? It's going to be more, it's gonna be much easier, you know, to make all the image. And yeah, I invite you to, to use markers. If you don't have them, you can use colored pencils, whatever, crayons, whatever it is that you have. And we're gonna start with today's activity. As you can see, I have everything here. I don't have everything prepared, but I wanna pick up like the markers that I see right off the bat here, you know, like on my, whoops, I had my brush here, <laughs> my hair brush with me. Um, Anyways, so I want to see the colors that are present in our piece. So I see, I see orange, I see like this bright orange, I see a dark orange as well. We see some yellow, I got some yellow there. Um, what else do we have? We have this like brown color, we have like this brownish tone here. So I think I'm gonna pick up maybe, let's say this one. No, it's like a, it's like a lighter type of color there. So maybe this one is gonna work better for that. We have some dark blue, so we're gonna be using some dark blue. Um, we have, what else do we have? We have pink. I think I have pink there, yeah. Yeah, we have some pink there. Mm, we have like this, what's it called, like magenta type of color. I don't think I have it here, yeah. So I have to get it from this one. So we're gonna be using some, yeah, it's, I think this one will work for that. We need some red, like a very strong red. I So these are new ones that I got and I really don't know how this works. Washable, okay. But you can see that he added a lot of, he adds a lot of things and it's a very interesting exercise, you know, doing patterns such as this one. It's very, very interesting. And we also have, which one? This one also has some lines here. But I think I'm not going to do the lines. I'm going to do the lines with... I'll show you. I'll show you in a moment how we're going to do those. Uh, we have to do the ones here from the leg. One of the legs has these lines here. We have to make them thicker. Okay. I'm gonna move around my book so I can, you see, like I can just do the lines here very easily. Um, we can also do the leg of this dog here, this other leg here that we haven't done with this one. Not this one, <laughs> not that one. What was that? That color, really don't like it. Maybe this marker, maybe this one will do. But I think the line's gonna push there. Oh no, it actually covered it. Oh, thank God. Because that was a no-no right there. Just like filling in the, I know that, I don't know why it's looking red, but I assure you, it is not red. <laughs> I know it's not red. So we're gonna do the face here. This looks extremely darkish to me. Mm, it's a bit dark. Hopefully it's not gonna be that dark. Markers can be a thing, you know? Oh yeah, it is dark. It actually looks a bit grayish, yep. Next time I'll be coloring a burrito because markers, no. <laughs> markers are a, no. At least this one actually is accurate. There you go. 
And the leg, the leg is uh, a brown. It's like this brown, I believe. Oh yeah, it's actually kind of like this brown here. So I'm just gonna add that brown tone there, you know. There you go. So, oh, actually I should, should I make the hearts? I should make the hearts, right? I should, I should make the hearts and some of the hearts. I'm gonna make some of these hearts. gonna do them like all black because I don't have the markers for that but yeah we were able to finish it oh my god I'm so happy I'm so glad here it is you guys this is the final result I know that we really went over the time but uh, this is the final result that we have for today's activity. I hope you guys really enjoyed it uh, this class that you really enjoyed the process of it um i know markers sometimes can act this way just so you know but it is all about exploration that we get to know our materials we can explore the mediums and then use them in our favor you know like it's all a matter of just exploring and learning about it and you will be able to do something amazing out of it okay you guys so here you have the final result of our little beautiful dog with markers so guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's activity, that you had a lot of fun. Don't forget to remind, oops, your friends and family to download the Vico app. Yeah, don't forget to remind your friends and family to download the Vico app available on the Google Play Store and the App Store. Let them know about the amazing after school programs that we have here to offer you so you can join me into doing something as amazing as this. It looks very cute. Oh my God, it looks very nice actually. So yeah, tell them about all of these amazing after school programs as well as the social features that we have here in the Vico app. You can download it from Android or iPhone, doesn't matter, iPad. And yeah, don't forget that I'm here on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be waiting for you on my next class. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And once again, I'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, bye bye, take care. Don't forget to download the Vico app available on the Google Play Store and App Store. Click below.